How do you see climate change affecting our community? Uh, I see climate change affecting our community in a very significant way. Uh, Bayonne is a peninsular town. We're surrounded by water on three sides. Uh, and one of the major concerns about climate change, one of the major effects of climate change, is a rise in global sea level. So uh, that could spell bad news for a lot of coastal communities, particularly Bayonne. So we have a vested interest in making sure that climate change education is a major part of our curriculum that every student appreciates uh, the dangers of the anthropogenic. Being a Peninsular Town, members of the community, especially students, are very conscientious of our local shores. Often, we accumulate multitudes of our garbage on our shores, which in past decades hurt our local wildlife. In more recent years, through student aid, our shores have been properly maintained, which has given our local fauna and flora a great revival. Ride your bike to school, kids. Our advocacy for environmental awareness is greatly demonstrated through promoting practices such as green transportation, most significantly by means of bicycle transportation. Here at Bayonne High School, we use solar panels as, as an alternative energy source. We have several sets of panels that work year-round. The panels produce energy that is used by the school, and when in excess, the energy is sold to local energy companies. The profit gained from selling the energy creative motivates the school and in turn the community to choose different energy sources such as these solar panels. At Bayonne High School, we use cardboard trays rather than styrofoam due to their biodegradable nature. This reduces our impact on local landfills and promotes recycling in our school. We promote the use of reusable containers to students who bring their own lunch from home. Biodome is a community of the most diverse types of animals in the world. From scaly bearded dragons, to endangered chinchillas, Bayonne High School educates its students on the importance of protecting the members of its environment. Climate change is real. Some people deny it, but it's our reality. And of course, people are responsible for climate change. All human being activities uh, causes climate change. Uh, we include different projects. So first of all, we had even uh, what we celebrated National Water Day on March 19th. We had some presentations. We had uh, for April uh, 22nd for Earth Day. Uh, we also did different projects, climate change and presentation. To start, I wanted to build a filtration system, but not an ordinary filtration system, one that combined, combined different aspects. And so after studying like giant water plants, different stages that they use for large quantities of water. This micro wind turbine is a prototype that is planned to be mass produced in the future. The turbine is an alternative re renewable energy source for the electricity that is created using fossil fuels. It will be placed around different locations around the school, which tend to have more wind currents considering the school's close proximity to a body of water. Although we contribute quite a great amount to our school community, we assure that students go above and beyond the school area as climate change does not mean only local change, but rather change on a global scale. What are some environmental changes that you have seen around the world? Okay, so I've done a lot of traveling in my personal life, um, and most recently I coordinated the trip to Ireland and to England for students from Bayonne High School, where there are not a lot of large cities, there's not a lot of pollution, uh, it's a really farming community, people are still living off the land and, and raising animals and, and livestock and agriculture to sustain themselves, so we definitely saw a completely different type of environment than what our students are used to living here in the cities and we definitely enjoyed the nature and the country and the sort of untouched by mankind landscape and, and felt that that may have been how areas like this used to look before uh, we had all of our, our cities and industrialization coming in. All right. Uh, are there any other trips that you are planning to go on in the future and teach students about the environment? So I think that anytime you travel, even within our own country, but um, even more so when you travel abroad, you're definitely experiencing different environments and climates and you're observing the way different cultures and different types of people interact with their environments. 
some things that we found in Europe that were unusual to students that are used to the way we live here in America are, for example, the fact that hotels aren't replacing your towels every day and washing your sheets every night. And that's, you know, they're making active choices to try to reduce the amount of pollution and the water that they're using and to protect their environment. And I think that that was a learning experience for our students. Mm -hmm. I know that the STEM students are planning a trip to the Galapagos next summer and that obviously will be completely embedded in environmental science and biology. But even going you know, from Bayonne to another part of New Jersey or another part of our own country, you can see different. So our point is there's no planet B. It is important to become involved in our school's effort to make people aware. Also, by becoming more aware, you can become part of the solution.